Hello dear students, welcome back to Physics Online Bridge Course Classes. So in last class we have been discussing about errors. So in case of errors we got that combination of errors. So in case of combination, so we can consider that combination of error in case of addition as well as in case of subtraction. So in case of addition we got that expression. So that is delta of z is equal to delta of a plus of delta of b as well as in case of subtraction also we got that delta of z is equal to delta of a plus of delta of b. It means that errors are additive in nature. So you can add means in case of that adding the physical quantity also delta of z is equal to delta of a plus of delta of b and as well as in case of subtraction also delta of a plus of delta of b only we will take it. So it means that errors are additive in nature. Similarly, I can consider that what will be the equation for in case of multiplication. So errors in case of multiplication we have to focus here. So errors in case of multiplication errors in case of multiplication I will take so for example so in case of uh, deriving the physical quantity so for example f is equal to m into a so mass term is there acceleration term is there so while measuring the mass we will get certain kind of error while measuring the acceleration also we will get certain kind of error then what is the total uh, error occurred in case of force here? F is equal to M into A. Multiplication term is there. So I want to find out what is the generalized formula for finding out that errors. So if that equation consists of multiplication terms. So for example, generally I will take one equation here that is Z. So Z is equal to A into B. So that equation Z will appear after multiplying A and B here. So I will take if delta of A and delta of B be the delta of A and delta of B be the absolute error in AB I can take it here absolute error in AB whereas delta of Z be the absolute error in Z I can take it here so I can rewrite this equation Z plus or minus of delta of Z is equal to A plus or minus of delta of A and into B plus or minus of delta of B I can write it here. So now I have to simplify this equation. So left side as it is. Now look at here A into B A into delta of B. So plus or minus of A into delta of B. Next one. So plus or minus of delta of A into B. So delta of A into B next plus or minus of delta of a into delta of b so to this equation left side i will divide by that z here and right side i will divide by a b here so divide by so i want to simplify this equation divide by z on lhs and divide by a b on right hand side so if i do like so z plus or minus of delta of z divided by z it is equal to a b divided by a b plus or minus of a into delta of b a into delta of b divided by a b here next one plus or minus of delta of a into b divided by a b so plus or minus of delta of A by A into delta of B by B I can take it here. So now look at here. So Z term is there in denominator also Z term is there. Z by Z means 1 plus or minus of delta of Z by Z. A B term will getting cancelled out here. 1 plus or minus of here A term is there. Here A term is there getting cancelled out. Delta of B by B. So look at here carefully and here so look at here delta a by so delta of a into b divided by a b b term will getting cancelled out delta of a by a plus or minus of delta of a divided by a into delta of b divided by b is there here one term will getting cancelled out here delta of z by z is equal to delta of b by b or delta of a by a whatever delta of a by a plus or minus of delta of b by b plus or minus of delta of a by a 
into delta of b by b. So look at here that product of delta of a divided by a and delta of b divided by d. So these two products are very much small. So product of delta of a by a and delta of b by b are very much small. So I can neglect these terms from the main equation. So look at here delta of a by a into delta of b by b. So these two product will give very small answer. So negligible quantity will get it. So I want to neglect this from main equation. So if I neglect that, so then final equation will be so delta of z by z. So that is equal to if I take plus or minus outside means I can get delta of a by a plus of delta of b by b. So this is the final equation in case of multiplication. So delta of z by z it is equal to delta of a by a plus of delta of b by b. So this is the required equation in case of multiplication here. So look at here in order to get that errors in case of multiplication. So, so now we'll look at that errors in case of division here. So next we'll focus on errors in case of division errors in case of division so for example i will take one physical quantity so that physical quantity will get appear by dividing the two terms here so for example z is one physical quantity that physical quantity values will get appear while making divide of a and b so it means that while measuring the physical quantity a you will get certain kind of error while measuring the physical quantity b also you will get certain kind of error so then i can rewrite as so delta of a and delta of b be the absolute error absolute error in a b i can take it here so delta of a and delta of b be the absolute error in a b and i can take that and delta of z be the absolute error absolute error in measuring the z i can take so i can rearrange this equation one as z plus or minus of delta of z so it is equal to what a plus or minus of delta of a divided by b plus or minus of delta of b i can take so in this equation in that left side z i will take it as common 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z here a i will take a into 1 plus or minus of delta of a by a similarly here b i will take 1 plus or minus of delta of b by b just i will play with the mathematics here <clears throat> so look at here a by b shall i take it as a z here so I will extend one more step 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z it is equal to instead of a b I will take it as z why because z is equal to a b 1 plus or minus of delta of a by a divided by 1 plus or minus of delta of b divided by b I will take so z term will getting cancelled out here so just I will extend this equation so 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z it is equal to what so 1 plus or minus of delta of a by a divided by 1 plus or minus of delta of b by b so this equation I can re rewrite in another form so 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z it is equal to 1 plus or minus of delta of a by a so this denominator term i will take it into numerator if i do like so 1 plus or minus of delta of b by b whole to the power of minus 1 so did you get my point so now look at here 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z so it is equal to 1 plus or minus of delta of a by a now so I will use one binomial expansion here. So 1 plus of x whole to the power of n. So from the binomial expansion, I can rewrite it as so 1 plus of. So if power is here means I will take it as 1 plus of n into x. So this is all about binomial expansion. I will apply the same thing here. So 1 here minus 1 is there. If it comes here means so plus or minus is there. So minus or plus I can take it here. 
delta of b by d so hope you get these things so plus or minus term is there so 1 plus or minus of delta of b by b whole to the power of minus 1 there is there minus 1 term if i take it here minus or plus it becomes so now i can simplify this equation further extent so 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z it is equal to 1 into 1 1 plus or minus of 1 plus or minus or minus or plus second right minus or plus delta of b by b and i can take that plus or minus of delta of a by a plus or minus of delta of a by a into delta of b by b i can take it here now look at here so here this term will getting cancel out delta of a divided by a into delta of b divided by d so product of these two terms are very much small i can neglect it from the main equation so if i do like so delta of z by z it is equal to minus plus de delta of b by b plus or minus of delta of a by a if i take that plus or minus outside means i can rewrite it as delta of a by a plus of delta of b by b here so delta of z divided by z so this is all about errors in case of division so what is the value for errors in case of division delta of z divided by z is equal to delta of a by a plus of delta of b by b here so in case of multiplication also you got the same thing so delta of z b divided by z is equal to delta of a by a plus of delta of b by b you got it so similarly i can do that another thing so that is errors in case of power for example any physical quantity if it consists in terms of power means so how will you find out that errors of those physical quantity we need to find out here so errors in terms of power we got that errors in case of addition subtraction multiplication and division now we'll focus on errors in case of powers so if that any physical quantity consists in terms of power so how will you find out that errors here so errors in case of or in terms of errors in terms of power so if you solve the numericals easily you may come to know that so first i am deriving the equation means general formula we need so for example I am having one physical quantity again z be the one physical quantity so that physical quantity will get appear by taking a to the power of n here so now delta of a be the absolute error in a so delta of z be the absolute error in z so this equation I can rewrite it as z plus or minus of delta of z so it is equal to a plus or minus of delta of a whole to the power of n is it right so <clears throat> this equation i can rewrite it in another form so just i will simplify here z if it is common means delta of z divided by z it is equal to if you take out means so you can take that one plus or minus of so a to the power of n if you take means 1 plus or minus of delta of a divided by a whole to the power of n a to the power of n shall i take it as a z here z into 1 so 1 plus or minus of delta of z by z it is equal to a to the power of n is nothing but z here 1 plus or minus of delta of a by a whole to the power of 1 z term will getting cancelled out 1 plus or minus of delta of z divided by z so it is equal to 1 plus or minus of so again i will use that same binomial expansion 1 plus of x whole to the power of n i can rewrite it as 1 plus of n into x here n term is there so 1 plus or minus of n into delta of a divided by a here so if i write like that so <coughs> look at here 1 plus or minus of delta of z divided by z so that is equal to 1 plus or minus of n into delta of a by a so one term will getting cancelled out delta of z divided by z is equal to n into delta of a divided by a here so this is all about errors in in terms of power so hope you got that 
error in terms of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and in terms of power. So, in next class we will be focusing on that. So, numericals related to errors means numericals related to combination of errors. If you solve the numericals then you get that proper information about that combination of errors. So, hope you get this.